I come from the land of chance where man does do the drag and dance and cross the waters of destiny. Builders of a legacy out of nothing, they still dare that they dream to be something, shining bright for the world to see. I see victory through blood, sweat, and tears prepared for me. We are warriors moving on our mission. Absolution. We will never give up, we will never surrender. Because in the name of my forefathers, oh Lord, help me walk where these giants walk. Every day we walk where these giants walk. Every day we walk, we walk, but still we can walk. Good morning and welcome back again. If you're watching Cock Doo Doo Doo, we have with us in studio, we're going to talk Trinidad and Tobago TNT Film Festival 2009. And we have with us Michael Shari and Yao Ramisa. He is a filmmaker. Morning. morning. Yeah, he has a lovely name, my people, Yao. It's mm -hmm. actually African, he told me, Ghanaian. From Ghana. Yeah. From Ghana. Nice. Welcome, Film Festival 2009. Filmmaker. What does a filmmaker do? Film, Ma filmmaker. Filmmaker. <laughs> yeah. Michael was telling me just now that he is actually in one of the films that you did. Yeah. Um, tell us about the film. Well, Sister God, it's a trilogy that I'm in the middle of. Mm -hmm. um, Michael's in the first one. He plays Father Divine, who is a, a lapsed televangelist, um, aspiring televangelist, caught between, let's say, the American accent and the old projection. And his Sounds trin familiar. His Trinidadian. He has a schizophrenia, sort of. Trinidadian. So he reprises his role in the film. It's about the coming of a black female messiah in the future, and um, during a time known as the apocalypse, so, because the world, everybody is gone, you know, except this lady, and she's with children, she's with twins. Oh, it's like legend in a way, similar, a slight similarity with that boy, um, Will Smith. I am Will Smith. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so similar. Yeah. So where was it filmed? This was filmed, the sequel was filmed all over Trinidad, but in particular, I could say San Susi, um, Maracas Waterfall, Lopino Cave, um, mm -hmm. the swamp. So it's really the, 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 the Trinidad and Tobago landscape is really the, character, the central character in a way. Um, not that the woman who plays God is not the central character, and Mike is almost virtually a co star as well. But there's no real separation from the landscape and the people. There's a continuum there, which I believe goes back to the beginning of how we had a relationship with the earth and the land. And there was this inseparability between the landscape and the people. Okay, so. makes sense. So about filmmaking in Trinidad and Tobago, you know, young, there are so many opportunities out there now for young people, which is so different, like 10, 15 years ago, Michael, you know, agree? Mm -hmm. Right now, there are people out there who could go and say, look, I want to do a course in filmmaking, can we? Yeah, well, like for example, the University of the West Indies, uh, there's there's now a Bachelor of Arts in film, a three-year um, undergraduate degree in film, mm -hmm. um, and there also I think um, the Ministry of Tertiary Education, Science and Technology, they have a a, um, a retraining program as well as I mean places like Guile and stuff where that you know which offers kind of like really kind of practical hands Yeah, kind of OJT kind of thing that happens yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the thing is, the technology now is so much more user-friendly in terms of high-definition video. Oh, yeah. Right? Um, where, and, and, and not as expensive. So we up there with them now? Are uh, we up there? Are we with all the HD and the 3D? And the, you can correct me. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the terms. You know? <laughs> going right are track, we there in those our film? I think we are in the process of surpassing the, the uh, you know, being being out there. But you see, we have something that we have to mind, which is what we have um, unique to here. So yes, we have the technology, 
but we have our own particular aesthetic that's developing. Yes. So that's going to make a big difference because <clears throat> they say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, we fed up of imitating and cheap imitations of mm. Hollywood and Bollywood and so on. Yeah. We're doing our own thing and we're going to carve our own niche in the world. And how all films make outside in the outside world? Can all films um, stand up to the cans and all of the, the festivals they have out there, the, the bigger well-known film festivals? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, Oh, anyone go ahead? Well, I mean, the first Sister God I did with the first feature was the first Trinidad and Tobago film to gain official selection at a major international, which was at Toronto. Um, I'm invited, or, or I, I'm invited to submit to all of these major festivals. We did. Okay, this is a good sign. Yeah, we did. Because you know, we, we <coughs> live in a, in, a, in, a, in a time, in a part of the world, where we still believe that what is outside is better. You know, and, and, and as you say, we, what we do are cheap imitations sometimes and really yeah. poor imitations of what is happening you know in the outside world mm -hmm. so it's good to know that it could stand to the the biggest and the best out there and what's also important you know um, especially for us as as caribbean people um is for us to it, it, the importance of of film and television as representation you know it's important for us to have perspectives on who we and are. yeah, exactly. Pull up the mirror, and to see ourselves. Yeah. Pull you know, up the mirror to, to, to light see and ourselves. see, and not not through not through a North Another American person. lens or a European mm -hmm. lens or whatever. You know, to really and and Cuba's done it. Cuba's done it. Um, Martinique has done it through people like you, San Paul. Yeah. And, you know, um, Jamaica's doing it as well too. You know, mm -hmm. so. Um, so when would we be able to? And what day would we be able to see the um, Sister God part two? That's um premiering on the 22nd at Movie Town. At Movie Town? Yes, yeah, MPM. And that's a good thing about the film festival. This year is not only Movie Town. I know that there are other venues. It's going to be, again, that's going to repeat at UE. UE has a two-day screening, 24th and 25th. Good, so good. it will show at the night of Republic Night. Mm -hmm. Good, and very also good. Also at the Studio Public Film. Night. Also at the Studio, Studio Film Club, Club also has another venue. Yeah, which is yeah. at the Fernandez um, compound. Um, and you know, you can't help but mention, eh? Flo is going to make it possible. Yes. Yeah. So the whole pay-per-view. Um, com com component there. So if you missed it during the festival, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you just have to put in your numbers or whatever and, mm -hmm, and you mm -hmm. can see the film. There's a huge kind of very accessible outreach element to accessible this. Tobago oh, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Tobago. Yeah. yeah. And Flo, Flo is, I mean, is the um, A major sponsor, the major mm -hmm. sponsor of this festival. And you've seen from last year to here, you've seen the, the sudden um, progression of this thing to a point where it's, it feels like a, a, a major festival, a seminal mm -hmm. festival.